Ring a ring of roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. The Black Death killed around half of the population of Europe in the 14th century and is one of the worst known pandemics to ever grip the world. Over 650 years later, the world has come along leaps and bounds in medical advancement. That being said, could we survive a resurgence of the plague today? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that likes to answer answer queries on a breadth of topics. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today we're asking what if the Black Plague happened again? Before we get into this video, why don't you guys let me know if you think you could survive the plague and also, if so, what would your tactics be? While you're down there, why don't you leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend that needs to survive the plague today. Also if you want to connect with the creative team behind this video, there are links to us in the description box. While the plague may sound like a ye olde medieval illness, worldwide the World Health Organization reports that 1,000 to 3,000 cases are reported of it each year, so it's still going. Generally speaking, these outbreaks are contained, but what if they became uncontained? What if there was a full on pandemic? There are actually three types of plague bubonic, septicemic, and pneumonic. Bubonic plague causes swollen lymph nodes, vomiting, fever, and headaches, and has around a 10% mortality rate with modern treatment. Pneumonic plague shows itself with a fever, headache, Aches, chest pains and coughing. If untreated, there is a 100% mortality rate, but with treatment a mortality rate of 20%. This by and large is the same for septicemic, which is characterized by a blood infection, abdominal pain, bleeding from the orifices, and diarrhea. No strand of plague sounds great, and even though they are all treatable with modern medicine, there isn't a guarantee of survival. Chances of survival are of course increased if a person can be treated quickly. So this would mean those who are in wealthier and from first world nations are far more likely to survive. Depending on how bad the outbreak is would depend on how strained healthcare operators were when it came to treating patients. Canada and the United Kingdom for example have free healthcare systems in place. However, these systems would be under huge strain when demand for treatment came faster than the supply of medicine. And what would happen in the United States where the healthcare system is a business industry? Would there be a pharmaceutical company getting rich off an apocalypse like disease spread? Plague can be treated if caught early with antibiotics. We've already discussed how access to medicine differs between countries and how the death toll would likely be higher in third world nations. But there's also one terrifying possibility that could level the playing field. What if the plague became resistant to antibiotics? That would be pretty terrifying. If a plague pandemic were to occur, I can only imagine that borders would be tightly controlled. One of the ways the pandemic spreads is by movement of people from one area to another. When Ebola was a big issue for example, the United States forced passengers travelling from affected countries to fly into one of just five of their airports with extra screening measures. If the outbreak got so bad, perhaps borders would be entirely closed, although that really would be a last resort. If the plague happened on a similar scale, scale to the Black Death of the mid 1300s, then there of course would be a lot of mass panic. People in densely populated areas would be more likely to be infected than those who live in sparser areas. Depending on where the plague broke out and spread to, cities would no longer be safe places. Plagues can be spread amongst people in close proximity, but the main reason that the cities are dangerous places is because they are more likely to be infested with rats. The bacteria that causes bubonic plague is spread by infected fleas on rodents. Perhaps we would all flock to the Canadian province of Alberta, the only place in the world that claims to be rat free. Of course, if the plague were to happen again, there would be a heavy focus on extermination. Rats would be killed in their swathes, which again would turn cities into rodent war zones. In the UK, there's a rat to every person, and in the French capital of Paris, there are four rats to every Parisian. Worldwide, there are said to be 7 billion rats, so one per person. That's a lot of extermination. You know where is also rat free? Space mate. Depending on when the outbreak happened, if a little further into the future, maybe the rich among us would give our mates Elon Musk and Richard Branson a call and hop on out of this diseased town on a one way ticket to space. Although the screening process would be intense. No one wants to be the idiot who brings the plague to space. Boo them. With so many people wanting to flee cities, no pun intended, this would have a disastrous effect 
effect on the worldwide economy. Perhaps governments would introduce stringent cleanliness rules in their cities to try and tackle the issues first. First they'd go the rats, then maybe a full on body washdowns before entering buildings. There would need to be big and stringent quarantine centres in areas most affected, in which the sick would be contained while they recovered. The best way to resolve a pandemic is pest control to cut the issue off at the source, then quarantine and hygiene to stop the spread. How would the plague even become a pandemic? Well, there are concerns that terrorists could find a way to wage biological warfare, although Y. pestis, the plague bacteria, is very hard to weaponize. If it were a planned attack, it would mark a new era of very dirty war, and the repercussions could be far reaching and merciless. While the history geek and weirdo in me would love to tell you that streets would be lined with creepy beaky plague doctors like in the Middle Ages, and people would be pushing carts shouting, Bring out your dead! It's pretty unlikely, in the Western world anyway. We've absolutely moved on. We've had experience containing epidemics. We understand bacteria. If the Black Death did happen again, it would totally suck. Poorer countries would be worse affected, but ultimately, as a global population, we would get through it. A lot of people would die, yes, but it wouldn't wipe out 60% of a continent like it did in the 14th century. We simply wouldn't let that happen. Back then, the plague did create a series of religious, social, and economic upheavals, which had profound effects on the course of European history. I'm not saying the wounds from such an outbreak wouldn't be felt for a long time, but just that we've learned a few lessons over time. So that is what we think would happen if the Black Death happened again. What do you think? What would you do if a pandemic broke out? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, while you're down there, why don't you hit that thumbs up button and stay subscribed for more big answers. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning. Oh,